cold in Fargo, North Dakota, May 16th. It's cold. They, uh, I'm leaving the Microsoft conference here. They had this winter 40, I hope you can hear me in the wind. They had 44 straight days below zero here. And I asked them how they coped. They said, Netflix. I'm singing in the rain. Singing in the rain at the Fargo Theater. Okay. The Fargo Theater. Yeah, check out the cool organ. They can show movies here, stage performances. I mean, this reminds me of that episode of Endeavor I just saw. Hope this place doesn't burn down like in that episode. Hmm. Hope they didn't hear me. <laughs> I think they renamed this ESPN Way when game day did the broadcast from here from North Dakota State. That's my guess. I'm my ask. Well, I was just walking along shouting, and I was relieved to learn that it's permissible during the daytime hours. Uh, I'll not return tonight shouting that. Uh, I'll keep it quiet. Well, all the churches I've seen here have been Lutheran, except for this, which is the first Presbyterian church, built in 1929. It's kind of nice. Also, it's kind of nice that it doesn't look like a warehouse. I think they started building the warehouse churches maybe 1930, <laughs> a little bit later. I am now broadcasting from Minnesota. I could have walked into Minnesota, but I didn't, I drove over. It's kind of a long walk and it's cold. Ooh, it's cold out here. I've walked into other states before. I'll let the bus go by. Minnesota is much like Fargo, North Dakota. It's just separated by a Red River. There's at least two Red Rivers in the U.S. because there's one in Texas. So this is the Red River of the North. Don't get it wrong. There's two. Well, I got ambitious and I walked. I walked into North Dakota, let's, let's just say it. I walked into North Dakota, and actually behind me you see the Red River. This was a steamboat shipping lane in between St. Paul, Minnesota, and Winnipeg, Manitoba for many, many years. No more. But what you see behind me is Fargo, which is the largest metropolitan area in between Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Spokane, Washington, which I, goodness gracious, that's a thousand miles or more across the Great Plains. There's nothing, man. There ain't nothing. And at this place, they have, I think, four or five gates at the airport. Not too big. Hello. I had to get out of the wind. Man, it's the Great Plains. The wind is brutal all the time. Just blows and blows and blows, like 30 miles per hour. But 
Last fun fact about the Red River is that, first of all, the Red River Valley is one of the flattest places on earth. Hey, I'll give them that. It's featureless. There was a little sign that said that out there. There ain't nothing, man. Nothing. And uh, it's very flat. Really, no, not even a hill anywhere. And uh, the other thing is that we are far enough north to where this water in the Red River is flowing north. It doesn't go back to the U.S. It goes into Canada and ends up in the Hudson Bay. Ends up in Hudson Bay, uh, not the Mississippi. So we're pretty far north. Are you ready for some North Dakota State University Bison football? Or basketball? The Fargo Dome. Seating for football, 18,700. Seating for, I don't know, basketball, concerts, 25,000.